Okay, you ready? Uh, one, two, three. Ow, this one kind of a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So thank you for stopping by in today's video. As you read by the title, um, I know it's been a while that I haven't posted a video, but today um, I went to, I actually went out. Well, I didn't get off the store, but me and my husband, we went to Target. Oh, by the way, I am drinking some sparkling water. This is the Waterloo. Um, these actually taste pretty good. Like if you're trying to get into sparkling water, you can try this one or the the other one. I forgot the name of it, but I've been trying these and this one's the strawberry one. It's pretty good. Another thing I got from Target was the Dr. Teal's brand. This is a uh, pink Himalayan salt scrub. And I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a pedicure because I'm pretty sure we all need a pedicure. Like our, you know, my acrylics fell off. Um, I've been doing a lot of things to myself. Like the other day I bleached my eyebrows, which I mean, it's already, they don't look bleached right now because I did color them in just a little bit, like a light brown, but they were freaking bleached. And I was debating on like cutting my hair also like the split ends. Um, I just feel like I have like dry ends and they're just like brittle and yeah. Oh yeah. So the purpose of this video, obviously as you read by the title. So I am going to be waxing my underarms. And the brand that I was actually going to get that I got from Target, but it says that they were out of stock. It was a Veet brand and it's also strips. And so we had to go to Walgreens. And so it was buy one, get one 50% off. So the the box each was $11.99 and then one of them was $5.99. So if you are looking into trying to wax your underarms, because I hate shaving. I haven't been shaving. It's been like five years, no, six years already. Um, I usually go to where I get my nails done. There's um, obviously they have like wax services. Excuse me. Okay. I should have known that that sparkling water was going to like make me burp. But this one says it's infused with coconut and marula oils. So I have not tried this brand. It says no warming or rubbing required um, up to eight weeks. 32 wax strips. And that also comes with like the wipes to wipe off the extra access. So pretty much this is just wax on a strip. So let's go ahead and try it together. So, so let's go ahead and give this a try, okay? Okay, so now that I took my top off, I was debating between like filming this video because I know it could maybe be a little bit of like TMI, you know? Maybe some people aren't used to like hairy underarms or like seeing hairy underarms, but I just wanna share it with you and show you the process that it's not hard, you can do it. So just give it a try if you haven't. So I'm not going to zoom in because I'm just, yeah, we don't need to do all that. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is what the wax strip looks like. So these are the finishing wipes that you use after you have waxed your underarm. And then these are the pain relief, the ouch relief. And then also comes with a little pamphlet that tells you how to do everything. Okay, so I read over the manual again, the little pamphlet, and it says that you have to allow the ouch pain relief a little wipey to pretty much dry for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my underarm to get all the excess oil off. And what I'm, while I'm doing this, let me just open it up real quick. And then, so this is the wipe once I've cleaned my underarm to get all the excess oils off. I'm gonna go ahead and like press it on there. It kind of smells like alcohol. So then it says to let it dry. So let's wait. Okay, I don't know if you can see my underarms, but my underarms used to be like dark. And so the thing, the reason why I like the wax is because once your hair grows more, it's like not going to be as thick as it used to be. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, but so you can kind of see more right here. 
I feel like I grow more hair down here than like in the middle. Like it's just that this weird patch that grows like all right here. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and get your wax strip, but I feel like it's better if you open it from the side. That way the wax, and do it slowly. Like start from the bottom and then work your way to the middle. Like that. And then once you have it like open, then just keep on going like not too fast. But just like that. So that way the wax doesn't stay on one on one strip. See now I have enough wax on both. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. And then we're just gonna pat it down. So my hair was growing up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down. Ready? Let's, I think I put it backwards. Yeah, this side was supposed to go, this side was supposed to go up so I can have enough to pull it down. But one, two, three. Okay, so it did get most of the hair out. Uh, you wanna see? So my hair was freaking long, you guys, look. You see the little root, the extra black dots? That's the root, so I got that done. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the, what did I do with it? Apply the rest of the numbing cream on the other one or the see I feel like this underarm is like more hairy so so I'll let this one dry and then we'll go ahead and pull this two three well, you can kind of see the results of this side so as for these little hairs I'm just gonna go ahead and like pluck them and now I'm gonna go ahead and get the Azuline finishing wipe. And I'm just gonna use this because my underarm does feel a little bit sticky. It smells like baby oil. Okay. So now we got that one done. I'm gonna go ahead and, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just I just feel like the wax is gonna unstick more oh. okay so now we're gonna do the most hairy underarm so let's go ahead and have this this underarm definitely grows more hair than the left one hoping this video is not boring and it's just <laughs> I'm teaching y'all how to wax yourselves. Okay, you ready? Uh, one, two, three. Ow, this one kind of did hurt a little bit, but it's nothing you can't take, so. Yeah, this one, you see? I have more underarm hair on this one. Ugh, it was, I was long overdue for this wax, seriously. And okay, so as you can see, there's like some left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to dry off the area again and use the other half of that strip. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull my skin like that. Two, three. Okay, this one still did pull, pull some hair, so. So see, I still have more, so I'm gonna use one more um, strip in this area just because I'm really not trying to wait for them to grow longer and then me having to come back like in two weeks because my hair does grow. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one more um, strip. I'm gonna use this whole, the two pieces of strip on this same underarm just because I still have like Tiny little hair scattered everywhere, unlike this one. This one was less hairier than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one more. So yeah, so for me, like I feel like my body just produces so much hair like every two weeks. Um, 
like yesterday i gave myself like a i pretty much like shaved my face with the little scalpel thing let me show you do i have it here yeah so no wrong tool so yesterday i gave myself like a facial and i took up all like the peach fuzz from my from my face and i used this like facial razor brush and i applied some moisturizer all over my face and then i just went like slowly peeling it down and then i also like um took my mustache off and then my unibrow and yeah so and then last week i had bleached no like two weeks ago i had bleached my eyebrows which they're growing back but obviously once this is over i'm gonna go ahead and get my eyebrow shape again and so yeah i've just been doing things for myself since we can't go out and get like our pedicures and our you know what we usually get mostly pedicures that's what i miss like pedicures and and then the waxes and let's go ahead and place it towards this one i'm going to place it towards the back and then i'll do this one towards this front area so placing it patting it down <gasps> oh. patting it this one i'm not gonna wait too long so i'm just gonna pat it get the top strip right here and then pull it okay so it did pull some of the hairs off now we're gonna do the next strip to the towards the front as you can still see the little tiny hairs oh it's getting hot i just realized like i'm running out of breath and then i'm like why do i feel so hot and it's because the freaking ring light is like right here i should turn on the fan now i'm gonna go ahead and go back with my oil relieve and just apply that everywhere and I'm not gonna use deodorant like today or tomorrow just because obviously like since my underarm pores are still gonna I feel like they're still gonna be open I'm not gonna be applying it deodorant so I'm just gonna let them breathe okay all right so this is a final end result yeah I was just like long overdue for this wax because I just felt gross looking down on my underarm and just like seeing all that patch of hair. I was just like, ugh. But yeah, so I feel like the reason why this underarm is a little bit red, since it was more hairier and since I went a little bit more like aggressive towards it. But yeah, like this was not painful. You can do it. So that is the end of the video. you guys liked it hopefully it wasn't like boring or like gross and yeah so if you really want to give this waxing a try you should because shaving honestly my personal opinion i feel like it just looks i don't like looking at the little black dots like especially it feels gross when your hair is growing so i think i'm gonna try this on my legs next time and see how it because i did get two boxes so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on my legs. Obviously, I have to wait for my leg hair to grow more. But yeah, this is this is what it looks like. Ooh, now I can wear my my uh, tank tops, and so I'll be more comfortable now. Okay, let me put my shirt back on. I think we're gonna go walk our dog. It's time. Okay. All right, guys. So that was the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. If you made it this far, thank you. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you shave? Do you wax? Do you go get it professionally done? Let me know down in the comments. What is your experience like with your underarm hair? So, yeah. I'm out of breath and it's hot. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by again. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.